that you may be seated. In the house of God, if it had not been for the Lord on our side, we wouldn't be here today. And I don't know about you, but it took all I had to make it. Then God added his strength to it. Is that all right? And the little song said, I feel better, so much better, since I laid my burden down. Y'all know that? Help me out. I feel better, so much better, since I sense in being burdened when Jesus is our burden bearing. Thank you all so much. We praise the Lord. Thank God for his love. Thank God for his Holy Ghost power and that's abiding in the inside. Oh, don't talk about the Holy Ghost too much more, but I enjoy talking about who's my friend. Thank God for his love. I never would have made it without God and I can't make it today without God. So I love him and I trust him. Amen. I don't trust the money. I trust God. I don't trust the vaccine. I trust God. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? He's the best friend that we ever going to have. Amen. You, you sit there and listen to the news. You, you get all nervous and all off key. I tell you what, I turned my TV off yesterday. I say today I'm going to have peace and quiet in this house. I don't want to hear another report but only hear about Jesus. Amen. And the Lord gave me a message to encourage your hearts today Amen. that you will have hope in God. Amen. That's what we're going to talk about today, hope in God. You have your Bibles. I brought mine there in Psalms 43 and verse number five. We'll take from there. We'll begin there. I want you to be uh, encouraged. I want you to be equipped when you leave here today to have hope in God, Amen. that no matter what goes on this week, you are prepared. Is that all right? Amen. Prepared for your struggle if you Amen. if you have one. Prepared for your battle. Yes. Amen. You're going to hold your head up high. Amen. Is that all right? Amen. That's right. Be girded and, and, and suited for battle. Yes. Amen. If, if you will, you don't mind standing one more time. We'll read this verse, giving honor to God. If you're able to, if not, we understand. Amen. It say, why art thou cast down, O my soul? 
And why art thou disquieted within me? Hope in God. And for I shall yet praise him who is the health of my countenance and my God. What am I going to talk about today? I want to tell you to hope in God. Kind Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we love you today. We honor you today. We give you praise and glory. Thank you for your word that sustains us, that strengthens us, that sanctifies us. Without you, we could do nothing. Without you, we would fail. We'd be like a ship without a sail. So, God, I ask that you bless today. Carry me down in your word, oh, God. Not only that, but sanctify my, my very soul as I talk about your word. And that we leave here blessed and recovered and strengthened for our task for this week. And, God, we're going to ever love you. We're going to praise you in Jesus' name. And let everyone that agrees say amen. amen. My hope is built. On nothing less, y'all know that, than Jesus' blood and righteousness. Talking about hope. I dare not trust the sweetest rain, but wholly lean on Jesus' name. I want y'all to hear me say that. On Christ the Solid. Come on, lift your voices. All of the ground is, is sinking sand. Oh, Lord, all of the ground is sinking, sinking sand. Can you do it one more time? Oh, Christ, the silence. I'm standing on God all of the ground is singing sand. I dare not trust, I dare not trust the sweetest rain, but holy lean on Jesus' name. Now let's try it on Christ, on Christ. Are you standing on God? All of us. What is it? It's sinking sand. All of the ground. All of the ground is sinking sand. Come on, give God a praise if you will. Thank you. Talking about hoping in God. What is hope? To start off with as an introduction, we got to find out what hope is. Right. A feeling of expectations and the desire for something certain that we want to happen. Amen. A spirit of expectations and a desire for something that we want to happen. It's a feeling of trust. Somebody say trust. trust. It's the feeling of trust. I hope that I get better. I hope I can see again. I hope I can walk again. I hope I get this job. My hope is I hope I see God's face to face. In a beautiful place. Not made by hand. David here is saying, I'm, why are you cast down? Talking to himself. Talking to his own soul. And why art thou disquieted in me? David was crying. He had many tears, sleepless nights. His nights were filled with tears because his enemies, y'all help me, felt like they had an advantage over David. Sometimes God don't allow us to succeed or excel where we want to. And the enemy gets a foothold thinking that he's won. But I've been in church long enough to know that song, he may not come when you want him. But he always, y'all go help me, come in on time. You used to sing a song when I was growing up, you may, he may not come when you want him, but he always comes a winner at the finishing line. We used to sing that song, folk, Harry used to 
You get, to sh get shot off the head sometimes. I'm talking about them wigs. Folk got happy off songs like that. They didn't mind messing up their Jerry curls for that one. Why? Because they knew Jesus would fix it after a while. We used to sing that song, Trouble in My Way. I have to cry sometimes. I laid awake at night, but it's all right. Why? Because I know Jesus will fix it for me. He said, now, I, while I'm going through, I will yet praise God. Yes. Don't you know why you're going through stuff you got to praise him? Yes. It don't look like you're able to praise him. Yes. You may not feel like you can praise him, but you got to must up enough praise to let God come in the room. I mean, he's already there, but when you begin to praise him, he gets excited about you honoring him. You don't need to give God the glory. He has glory. Talking about I give you the honor. He has, he's already honorable. But what he desires from us is praise. When we give God the praise for what he has done and what he's doing for our life, it prays, make room for more. The more you, y'all know it, the more you thank him, the more he bless you. David had to get where he needed to be in God, who is the health of my conscience. You see, sometimes when we're sad, we got to remember where our help comes. Just preach that on Monday. Service here on Monday. My help come from the Lord who made heaven and earth. I'm going to lift my eyes to the hills from which cometh my help. Don't come from the doctor, y'all. Ain't coming from your 401k. But your help going to come from the Lord who made what heaven and earth. David's enemies was chastising him. Because of his faith in God. Not only that, but David was even struggling with his faith. And there are things in life sometimes will cause you to struggle with your faith. But when you have been with God for a while, you may not see it, but you know it's going to work out. Because faith is the substance of things what hope for. And the evidence of things not seen. And faith begins with a holy desire toward God. And communion with him. Let me say that again. Our faith begins, listen, with our desires toward God. And not only but a desire, but I have communion with God. Oh, I, I tell you, when my mother left here, it knocked me to the side. But the Lord told me himself, if you stay in the word every day, I, I will comfort you. I lost my best earthly friend. And the only way I could get through it was not crying and looking at this and that and this what she wore and how I did. I had to get in God's word and let God's word get in me. And the Lord said, if you abide, y'all going to help me. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you can ask what you will and it shall be done unto you. I told the Lord, take the grieving away. I deal with the hurting. You know, God did just that. I couldn't do it, but God could. I had hope in God every morning. And you know what? Sometimes I'm going to tell you something else. Sometimes just doing it in the morning ain't good enough. When you under pressure, you have to go back in the evening and get it again. Sometimes you have to get it all during the day. If you're on a respirator, you need the medicine. If you're in intensive care, you need God to help you. I don't need one drip. I need him to keep on dripping. So faith upholds the heart. And faith gets the last word. When you're with God, if you have faith in God, he has the last word about everything. You don't have to worry about what folk are saying in your ear. You hope in God. I tell you many times the doctors say you got this and the doctors say you have that. Just don't let it come out of your mouth. Did y'all hear what I say? Let him talk. Let her talk all they want to. That you're not going to be able to do this and you got this long to live. Let them talk. Just don't let it come out of your mouth. Because when it come out of your mouth, that's when it starts. You got to let the words of your mouth be quiet. And all you're going to say is, thank you, Lord. Glory to God. 
Lord, have your way in my life. Let your will be done. And your will will be done. But then you tell God, this is the thing I desire you, long life. I, I desire to be disease free. I desire to be happy and help. You got to talk to God out of your mouth. You know you got a draw full of medicine, but God is your God. You know you got the wheelchair on the side, but God gave your legs to walk. And you got to speak it out of your own mouth. Are y'all all right today? I believe I came to feed y'all. Not a, just a happy meal, but a good meal. Is that all right? That we've got to have hope in God. Don't you dare let the devil chastise you. Don't you let him play with your faith. Don't you let him play with your integrity. My hope is built on nothing less but Jesus Christ and his righteousness. Not only that, but then the Bible says in Psalms 146, verse number five. Happy is the man that has God of Jacob for his help, whose hope is in the Lord his God. You should be happy when you know God is in control. Hey, man, you ain't got no business feeling sad. Well, Pastor Cox, I lost my job, but you didn't lose your mind. And you ought not lose your praise. I remember when I lost my first job, I went right across the street and got another one. Y'all ain't talking to me. Well, I don't have no car. Don't you know there are plenty of cars in that car lot? There may be folks sitting around trying to find out who I want to give a car to. Folks got cars sitting in their yard. You trust in the Lord. You hope in the Lord. God ain't, ain't no problem with God giving somebody a house. He said all the cattle on a thousand hills are mine. Why are we going to worry about what God... Let Jesus fix it for you. He knows just what to do. And whenever you pray... Let God have his way. He'll fix it for you. The Bible said in Romans 15 and 13, Now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that ye may be abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. Now God fills with joy and peace through the Holy Ghost. Why did I bring that point up? Because a lot of folk are trying to get joy and peace without God. You're going to need the Holy Ghost. I push the Holy Ghost. Why? Because you cannot have joy and peace without God. You get, I know folk are trying to be happy. Oh, they let the mighty God come and they happy just for that week. But it ain't stopping nobody from killing one another. Valentine's Day, they just as happy on Valentine's Day with the balloon and the little teddy bear. But sometime about midnight and one after Valentine, everybody want to fight if they ain't careful. Mad with an attitude. You ain't going to get no joy out of that. Even on your birthday, when it's over, you still got to pay the bills. But when you have God in your life, when you have the Holy Ghost abiding inside, I'm not talking about it, I'm talking about him living in the inside, then you ought to have joy and peace. You ought to not be miserable with God in the inside. He is peace. He is joy. When God is in the inside, you ought to have everything at his pleasure. What am I saying? When God said, I come to you, you may have life, you ought to be living it abundantly. Oh, you may have pain. Give the pain to God. He's the burden bearer. Say you don't have friends. God is your best friend. When your friends walk away, he will be right there by your side. You have hope when you have God. Not only that, but the Bible says in Lamentations 3 and 24, and I love this verse. The Lord is my portion, said my soul. Y'all heard that? My own soul said, the Lord is my portion. Therefore will I hope in him. When you don't know the answer, just hope in God. When you can't see your way, God is the way. He's the truth and the life. Huh? And no man will come to the Father but by him. When God is the way, you don't need to look for another way. God is everything I need. He, everything I need, God had it. Do y'all know what the Bible said? The Lord is my shepherd. I wish I could preach. If the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. What am I looking for? If the Lord is my portion, why am I worried about what you have or what I can't have? The Lord is everything that I need. 
If I'm sick, he is the doctor. If I'm in truck, oh my God, he is the lawyer. If I'm friendless, he's the best friend. If I'm motherless, he'll be a mother. If I'm fatherless, he'll be a father. If I can't find my way, he is the way. Somebody say, God is. God is. God is. You ought to have hope in God. He'll supply your every need. There in Romans 3, 5, 3 through 5. Not only so, but we glory in tribulations. And knowing that our tribulations work patience. Y'all hear me now, because a lot of us want things real fast. What we go through is going to give us patience. I hear folks say, I'm praying for more patience. You better watch what you pray for. You better watch what you pray for. I'm praying for more patience with my children. You're going to be tried. Because you ain't going to get no patience without being tried. On the job, you're going to be tried. And I want to throw one more footnote in there so y'all won't get too happy. You're going to be tried in the church. Don't you ever think that you're going to be hollering through that amen. You're going to go through in the church. Just never hate the church. He sends folk in the church to aggravate you in the church. He don't want you to be saved. He don't want you to have no joy. He don't want you to have no peace. He'll get you wherever he can get you. But as long as you're in God, God will fight for you. And not only that, then he says, experience. You get hope after you experience. You got to go through something to get hope. I can't pray hope on you. Just pray I get some hope back. What you think hope is for sale? You're going to go through to get some hope. Did y'all hear me? I can't give you the Holy Ghost. God gives the Holy Ghost. Well, just shake me, just shake me. Shake it, you ain't going to get no devil out of you. Well, just lay me on the floor and put a sheet on me. Then I ain't, I ain't, you ain't come to church to go to sleep. You're going to need power of the Holy Ghost. You've got to go through like everybody else to get what you get. Y'all know the word, the race ain't given to the swift, nor to the strong. Y'all know the word, the one that endured. That's the one right there. The one that goes through and lies. The one that can take it. Because if you can't take it, you cannot make it. Look at somebody and say, you better check yourself before you wreck yourself. And not only that, because the love of God is shared abroad in your heart, listen, by the Holy Ghost. How do you get hope? I got the answer today. You got to have the Holy Ghost. How do you get hope? You got to have the Holy Ghost. It comes through the Holy Ghost. Huh? It comes. You are saved by grace through faith. Faith is in the Holy Ghost. I believe I can. I believe I'm going to see God's face to face. I believe I'm going to live in this holy city. I believe God is coming back for a church without spot and wrinkle. I believe I'm going to be in that number. I hope to be in that number. I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do to be in that number. I don't want to be left out. So I got to live right. I got to pray right. I got to talk right. I got to think right. Because I want to be in that number. But I'm hoping to see God's face. Oh, don't you just sit around on earth and think this is the end of things. This is just the beginning of sorrow. All this talking and and pumping the volume about you just need to take the vaccine. Honey, the, if God can't hear you, you can't be here. Some of the folk taking the vaccine die from the very thing they thought it wouldn't kill him. Your hope is in the law. Folk have stopped going to church because they scared of a vaccine. Some folks scared to go to church for a cockroach. But they got them in their house. Y'all ain't gonna say nothing to me. You scared of y'all. I shouldn't have brought that up, but he had to bring him on in there somewhere. You got to have your mind made up that if I, I'm going with Jesus all the way, because this ain't nothing compared to what's going to happen. There's going to come a day you have to make a choice whether to choose Christ or the mark of the beast. Y'all better hear me. 
There will come a day when you're going to make a choice. Either I'm going to suffer and go through or I'm going to do what the devil tells me to do. If you take the mark of the beast, God will have no part with you. When you say, well, Pastor, I'm not going to feed my children. It, yeah, it's going to be a hard day. But Bible said, and I already remember the word, he's going to take from the wicked and give to the righteous. I'm not bidding more worried about the mark of the beast. I'm not taking it. You should not take it either. God got folks in around you right now. Don't care a thing about him. Y'all hear me. They ain't coming to church. They ain't reading no Bible. They watching your life though. Folk watch you every day to see if you say you what you really are. They watch you when you go home with your little ball that's wrapped up in a plaque. Y'all ain't gonna talk to me. They know you ain't supposed to have that ball all wrapped around there like y'all gonna talk to me. You say you saved, you ought to be saved. They're watching you on your job. You cannot keep taking the staplers from your job talking about you saved. Y'all help me. They're watching you on your job. If you at the restaurant and you getting a happy bag, a gold bag, a dog bag, whatever kind of bag, and they know you didn't pay for it, they are watching you. They're watching you. You're going to fill your car with gas and you ain't paid for it. Tell me, I deserve it. You better hear what I tell you. It's not even about that. Folk are watching you. Y'all saw B. Witt, there was Miss Kravitz. I Dream of Jeannie, there was Dr. Bellows. They come in men and women. They all watch. Folk watch me. Want to see what I'm doing. I hope they run out of gas trying to follow me. <laughs> but live a life of holiness. Live a righteous life. Let what you do out your mouth be what's in your heart. Don't be wishy what I wish I could help the church. Don't say you one thing and do another. The hope of God is for you when you are right. God will fight for you when you're right. God will fight for you when you're honest. God will fight for you when you're holy. And not only that, but then we are conquerors when we have the Holy Ghost. Don't you sit around church, hear me talk about the Holy Ghost and don't receive him. Well, what, how do I get the Holy You ask the Lord to come into your heart. Lord, fill me with your Holy Ghost power. Amen. And then you embark upon God. You don't just, just fear me, Lord. You do more than that. You got to work. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. You ain't got to go looking for God. He ain't lost. When you call his name, he coming to you. Yeah. Oh, man, I laid in my bed when I was 16 years old. This coming September, I would have been with the Lord for 40 years. This September, 24, I remember when God filled me. I thank God for the Holy Ghost. I'll never forget that day. I know about his power. I don't have to ask you if your fire is on, your light is on. When you talk to me, I can tell if you ain't got no heat on. When you walk in your house, you know if the air is working or if it's not working. Folk get around you, they know if you save or if you're not. They know when you're talking too much and you know you ain't saying nothing. They, and some folk, and listen, a lot of folk think because they know scriptures that make them save. It does not make you save. You got to live the scriptures. You got to live. A, I wish I could help y'all. You got to live a holy life. May the work I've done do what speak. Jesus said, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. My father's house, there are many men. Said, if it was not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. Now, when you hear God say he got something prepared for you, don't you try to prepare so much on earth. God got a, I told somebody, my mama wouldn't come back. I just fixing up our house because I know I need to. But she wouldn't come back here to be absent from the body that's present with the, present with the Lord. Why would anybody who God done took with him want to come back to earth like this? Right. Folks scan you every day. You got to get the shot in your arm. Well, if you got that shot, you need another shot and another shot on that shot. Folks are so, so tired of all that. It done woke folk out. I'm telling you, even the children tired of it. It's time to have some hope in God. It's time for you to open your Bible and read God. While you're worrying about the world that's going to fall away, perish, what's, why don't we build on what God already said? Yeah. That I'm more in you. I am your provider. I am your portion. I am your strength. I am your protector. I am your buckler. 
I am your shield. God will take care of you. You don't have to worry about it. And that don't, that don't mean go out there and act foolish. Protect yourself as well. Psalms 91 and 2 said, I will save the Lord that he is my refuge and fortress. My God and him will I trust. In other words, this is saying God is my protection and my hiding place. You need to get that verse and remember 91 verse 2 of Psalms. He is not only your protection, but he's your hiding place. He will protect you and hide you. Every time the virus try to come near you, if you're in God, God will hide you. I'm, my name ain't Superman. I'm not trying to be super nobody. I just want to be a saint of God. And God will take care of his people. God will fight for you when you can't fight for yourself. My God, how can you stop what's going on in the world? Why are you worrying about one virus? Look at all the others you done got. Some was probably in your hand you didn't know it. Some of y'all put it on your plate while you was eating and didn't know it. It's about how you going to stop it. Going in the door when you go in the door. What you going to do, shut the door soon as you get in? You're going to have to spray outside and in. Then you go home and you don't know if you're going to walk it in the house on your shoes. Y'all help me today. I ain't trying to scare you. But don't be paranoid. They could have got on your hat while you was out there talking outside. Now, that don't mean go wear a rain cap when it ain't raining. Some of us go overboard. But if God is not looking out for you, if God is not protecting you, if God is not for your good, you will not survive. Are y'all all right with me? So what am I going to do? I'm going to trust in the Lord. Simon said, trust in the Lord with all of your heart and lean not to your what? But in all of your ways. And he shall direct your path. Trust in the Lord. Well, I got to hurry up and leave church. We stayed in church too long. I got to hurry up and leave, leave church because I don't want to get sick. And, and you ought not be going to church. You go to Walmart. You go get your thing. You, you go to work. I'm going to use your word. For eight hours, some 12. Talking to everybody on the job. Hey, Susie. Hey, Becky. How you doing? How the dog doing? Ain't nobody worried about nothing. Go to Walmart, pick stuff off the shelf. Somebody else say, I didn't want that. And they left it on the shelf. Now you done picked it up. Y'all help me. You ain't the only one that been down that aisle. If it wasn't for God looking out for you, you'd been dead. Don't worry about the virus. If it wasn't for God, you would have been dead. Could have been a straight bullet. Could have been a car accident. The house could have caught on fire. You could have just died. But God. Don't get caught up. You don't know what they're doing. They may be trying to sell their vaccine. I remember when Levi's came out, everybody was buying Levi's. Then they had stonewashed jeans. And some of us who didn't know no better, we went and got the stonewashed jeans. They didn't nothing but put bleach in them. Y'all gonna help me. When we got small, we started pouring bleach in our own jeans. Then they come out with the jeans that had the holes in it. If we had scissors, that we'd cut the holes in them myself. All you do is go out there and play baseball and, and ski in it, you have a hole in the knee. But no, we wanted to buy the expensive pair. Try to look fashionable with the world. Come out from the world. We don't need to be in the world. You set your own trend. You ain't got to wear every dress in the store. Some of them clothes y'all buy me ain't even look good on you. Make sure you get the right color. That Y'all help me. I know I'm telling you right. Every t-shirt ain't yours. You got to find out what's fashionable for you. And if you don't know where, well, get take somebody with you that no fashion. So you won't come out there looking like a clown. You want to look your best. And so many things we got in our own home that God has blessed us with, we ain't even wearing that. And have the nerve to say, I would come to church, but I ain't got nothing to wear. You, God been good to you. 20 pairs of shoes and you ain't got nothing to wear. 40 dresses and you don't have nothing to wear. Hope in God. Hope in God. The Bible said, commit thy way to the Lord. Trust in him. He shall bring it to pass. Our hope is activated Amen. when we commit our trust in God. Our hope 
is activated. It comes on. Y'all hear me? When we commit our way to the Lord, it comes on automatically when we commit to God. Y'all all right with that? I, I know this, and I already gave you trust in the Lord, and I got to quit. But then this last one say, honor the Lord with your substance. Amen. A lot of folks want stuff from God and ain't giving God nothing. He say, honor the Lord with your substance and with the first fruit of your increase. So shall your bonds be filled and your presence shall burst as new wine. Overflowing with new wine. I ain't talking about no drinking wine, getting drunk. <laughs> when you honor the Lord with your substance, God's going to take care of you. Amen. Now, I got something I need to say that I didn't finish. Amen. When the mark of the beast shall take place, you can have my car, my house, <laughs> and the rapture. You can get my house, all the furniture. If you're left here after the rapture when we gone, you can have my bank account. I give you the combination. I give you the numbers because it won't mean me any good. Y'all hear me? If you go, you so planted on earth that you're not heavenly bound, you can keep all of that. You can have my cat. I just got a cat from somewhere. <laughs> got a cat at the house. I don't even like cats, but God bless. I've been feeding them every day. Bless his Lord. I don't even know if it was. <laughs> And you know what God was saying to me? You ain't have nobody here. I'm going to give you somebody because you love. The Lord sent that little cat. I don't even know why I'm talking about that cat. <laughs> sent that little cat there. Jess is happy. He got little gray eyes and little brown and white little feet. And I told my brother when he found out, I said, y'all sing in the sweet by and by because I ain't feeding nobody cat. <laughs> the Lord said, get up and go feed that cat. <laughs> Say, you got your, your heart is full of love. Yeah. You ain't going to sit there and let nobody suffer. Let alone a baby cat. And that polar thing be running around me. I said, get on back over there. Go get your food. You ain't coming in the house. My love only goes so far. <laughs> Why? What? Did you get what I just said? When you, when you have hope, God put people who are hopeful around you. People who need your faith. God will send them to. He ain't sending about you. You always complaining. You ain't got nothing to share with nobody. Don't want to help nobody. God ain't got time for that mess. If you can help people, you help them. And when the Lord bless you, y'all hear me. I was talking about you being a giver, paying your tithes and your off. God will bless you. A lot of us ain't going to get too far because we ain't doing what we're supposed to do. He said, take a dime out of every dollar. Y'all hear me. When you get your money and give it to God, and God will fill your bonds up. I ain't got no money to pay my bills. Well, I guess you don't, but you'll sting yourself. When you give to God, God will give back to you. Press down. Huh? Y'all got it? Press down. Shaking together. And running over. Shall who? Shall men. Somebody may be sitting at their house with a thousand dollar check waiting to give you, but they ain't going to give it to you because God said you're not going to get it till you obey. God is a God of faith. Ain't no sense you praying to God when you're in disobedience. When you do what you're supposed to do, when you take care of God, you better hit the note or something. When you take care of God's business, he will take care of your business. If you do not take care of God's business, he's not going to take care of yours. Do not play with God. He's not one to be played with. Amen. I'm going to tell you one more thing. He ain't changing the rules for me nor you. Amen. Not today nor tomorrow. His rules stand for my grandmama. They stood for my mother. They stand for me. And because I think my mama was saved, my grandmama saved, I can get by. You can forget that. Amen. Goodbye because that ain't going to work. What was good for the goose is good for the gander. What my grandmama had to do to be saved, I've got to be saved. Y'all hear me? What was done for the old saints, we've got to do it. Ain't no new kind of saint, a new kind of church. What it took for them, it's going to take for us. Come on, Pastor Cox, you old-fashioned. You better grab a hold to old-fashioned. Because what you're doing ain't going to get you in the kingdom. I've seen folk just shouting around, got the clothes on so tight they can't hardly shout, and look like they're playing with the Holy Ghost. Anybody can shout. The Bible said, let everything 
Y'all gonna hit me? I ain't got nothing wrong against them shouting. But when you get through shouting, you gotta live a life. Because the Holy Ghost ain't a shout, it's a life. If that was the case, then all the folk over 80 couldn't, they wouldn't have the Holy Ghost. Because you have to shout. So it ain't in a shout, it's in your life. How you live at home. And I got to quit, but how you live at home, that's the real you. Y'all hear me? When you by yourself, that's the real you right there. Did y'all hear me? I ain't talking about that little makeup that y'all come to church with on. Praise the Lord, everybody. He didn't my, 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 uh-uh. How you act at the house, cussing out the dog, that's the real you. You want hope? You need the Holy Ghost. How do you get to repent? Every one of you, Peter said, and be baptized. Huh? In the name of Jesus. For the remission of your sin. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. That's how you receive the gift. You got to do the work. You just can't come to church and tell me I'm over choir number three and four and I'm the usher board president and I'm an assistant pastor and the director of general board. You can go all with your little general or whatever. Unless you have the Holy Ghost. It means nothing to God. Y'all hear me? Go to McDonald's and work without being hired. They may even let you use their outfit to take out the trash. But when payday come, if your name ain't on, y'all ain't gonna help me. When it's time to do payroll, if your name ain't on the itinerary, all your work is in vain. You can go to play at every church and ain't got the Holy Ghost, it's all in vain. You can be in the church trying to help everybody pass God to you cool glass of water and just drink this water in Jesus' name, but you ain't got the Holy Ghost. All your labor's in vain. Do y'all hear me? You got to have the Holy Ghost. You know what Jesus said? Them that have not my spirit, they ain't none of mine. You know what else he said? My sheep know my voice. Others, they ain't going to follow. Well, how do I get the Holy Ghost? Repent. Stop doing wrong. Amen. Be baptized in Jesus' name. Don't go on your mama's confession. You know, they get me with these little programs when I be preaching funerals. That John knew the Lord, came to the Lord at an early age. And then they told me to leave his past and his beloved family. I'm, I'm looking for what else he done done since he came to the Lord. <laughs> you came to the Lord at an early age, so what else been happening all them other years? You, you accept the Lord at an early age, but what happened while you was a teenager since you've been grown and met what your wife say about you? We want to hear more about you than that early age confession. That don't work right now. Tell me that when you left here, you were in God. You Let that be on your program, your obituary, that I was serving God to the bitter end. I served till I didn't have no more breath. I didn't retire. I wore out. Let that be your testimony. Then we can sing better and preach better at your service. Amen. We got to come up with a message when you ain't been in God and just walked around the saints. But what we want you to do is be a saint. Is that all right? Look at somebody say, we want you to be a saint. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Husbands, treat your wife. They The Lord that treated the church gave his life for the church. You take care of your wife as God has taken care of the church and gave his life for it. House on fire, don't you run out first. Say, come on, you better, you're a man for himself. Every dog, no. Make sure your family get out. If you get burned a little, they got intensive care for you. You got to take care of your family. Amen. Amen. Parents, take care of your children. Amen. Amen. Don't let them go out in the kind. Raise them up in the admonition and honor of God. In the fear of God. Let them know about God, not so much about the world. They're going to find that out by themselves. Teach them about the Lord Jesus. Y'all got enough for today. I done preached it. I got tired. Y'all all right? All right. Have faith in God. Have faith in God. Have faith in God for your deliverance. Have faith. The church doors in God. God still work miracles. God still work miracles. God still work miracles for your deliverance. Have faith. 
oh Lord, oh Lord, happy in God. Is there one that won't accept the Lord? Have faith in God. Have faith in God while we're standing. Have faith in God for your deliverance. Have faith. Oh, have faith. Oh, Lord. In God, God still work miracles. Do y'all believe that? God still work miracles. I know that God still work miracles. So happy, please happy. Is there somebody that want to accept the Lord in your life today? Is there somebody that need the Lord in your life? Why don't you come to Jesus while the blood is running warm in your vein? If you need a church home, we welcome you at Church of Life. We're the home for the soul. We'll be glad to have you come and worship and praise God and live a holy life with us. Oh, we're trying to be the best we can be in God. And you can come and join us. We'll be glad to have you here. Oh, have faith. Have faith in God. Oh, have faith. Have faith in God. Is there anybody who wants special prayer today? Let us pray for you. Have faith in God. Oh, have faith in God for your deliverance. Have faith. Have faith. God, is there another one that won't pray before we begin? I know that God, He still work miracles. Y'all believe that? I tried Him and I know God, He still work miracles. Oh Lord. Work miracles and for your deliverance, just have faith, have faith in God. Just one more time, listen. Oh, Lord, bless me. Y'all know that. Oh, Lord, bless me. Why don't you help me? Oh, Lord, bless me. You know just what I need. I need, come on, oh Lord, oh 